Welcome everybody, my name is Bree Naomi and I am your yin and yang movement guide. Please remember there are many different ways to practice yoga, pilates and movement. Many different styles, teachers and teachings. I will be your guide, however your biggest teachers are your body and your breath. Please be mindful of any injuries you may have and remember to adjust the exercises to suit your body. Try not to take things too seriously and let's have some fun. Welcome, we are practicing some nice, juicy, warm winter wall yin. So all you need to do is bring your mat up long ways up into the wall and make sure you're wearing something super comfortable, maybe even some gym jams, some nice fluffy socks with pompons, who knows. For the first one, come in and just create about a 30 minute, 30 centimeter space between your glutes and the wall legs up the wall and the first pose we're coming into is a figure four stretch on the left side so bring the left foot on top of the right thigh just have the right leg directly up first and then start to slide it down to enhance the the pose there so we're aiming here for a nice juicy stretch on that left side of the glutes and you can just experiment around with where your foot is, whether you have it sliding a little bit more up the wall, or maybe your left foot is out to the side of your right thigh or placed on top of the right thigh. So just find that space and you can also bring a little bit more into this pose by going closer into the wall. So you don't wanna have your hips all the way up to the wall create that space, find the sensation that suits your body and relax down into the pose. So let's focus on the breath, three part yogic breath, breathing into the belly, rising it into the chest, the heart space, collarbones, and then cycling that three part breath back down. So really aiming at some nourishment today winter is about slowing down finding stillness and we often don't want to move too much so wall yin perfect to do in winter time focus on your breath relax your body so muscles are relaxed there's no forcing pulling pushing yin is about yielding On the side of the body here, we have the gallbladder meridian, which we're stimulating into through these longer, deeper holds. Relax your body. Relax your mind. If we're feeling a little imbalanced within this meridian line, we often feel discernment and difficulty in making decisions. So we want to remove anything that may be blocking us with our ability to make decisions. This can be on the energetic level of the body, stimulating into these energy lines, physical stuckness, or maybe it is in the mind body, our thoughts and our beliefs. So developing the ability to trust yourself to trust life and to take action on those things that need to be done. And 
Let's come back to the breath now. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathe in expansion. Breathe out tension. Let's slowly start to come out of this pose, gently removing the left leg, placing it on the wall, just hold it for a moment and then slide both feet up the wall. Take some stillness, feel that sensation as it slowly dissipates, moves through the body. Always just a moment in between the poses to to feel to be and to just allow let's come over to the right side now so right foot on the left thigh sliding down your left foot down on the wall just enough to find that edge in your body again explore you might have to change a little bit from side to side wiggle your way in or out from the wall Remember the hips aren't all the way on the wall. There's about 30 centimeters or so of space. And then you move in or out to to find that shape in your body. Right side of the glutes, the IT band. IT band is the one that can get very tight. It's a very thick, long tendon from the hip joint down past the knee. So this Relieving tension, tightness through that tendon, through the glutes, the hip joint. All you need is just that little space of wall at home. So start to take some nice nourishing breaths again, moving the breath through the belly, the chest, heart, collarbones. As you exhale, you might want to even send your breath down to that outer right hip joint leg and just be aware of if anything changes when you really direct your energy into that space. As we always say, energy flows where attention goes. So if you're focusing on the tightness, the tension, the stuckness, then that's what you receive right back. And sometimes it's just that little shift of perception, how you view it, how you see it, how you experience it. 
So instead of focusing on the negative, the bad, or whatever we seem to label these things in life, focus on the good, the opening, the release, the change that's happening. Allow the body to relax. Good, the shoulders, the arms, the belly, the feet. Be relaxed, just that 1% more here. Trust the Practice mindfulness on your mat. Observe the breath. Bring yourself back to your body. If your mind is becoming distracted. Allow the breath to be the anchor. The gateway to the Slowly start to come out of this side. Right leg releases to the wall. Slide the legs up. Observe again the sensation. Allow the body to relax. Now let's slowly roll over and come into placing the hips right up. So you want to have your back and your hips right up against the wall. And then just start to open to a wide straddle position here. We're using the wall for support. This one's really nourishing. And we're going to be here for a little bit longer. So just bring your legs down as far as they allow you to go. Let the feet relax. And just let gravity, the weight just help you out here so you're not forcing anything there's no destination and just finding that sensation which may be here the inner thighs all the way up that inner lining of the legs maybe even the outer hips as well so the inner lining of the legs we have three different meridian lines we have the kidney spleen and liver all running up that inner lining of the legs so tapping into a few of those energy lines where we may again have any stagnation 
of chi, which is the energy flow within the body. So let's um, send some love to the inner lining of the legs, the inner thighs, the adductor muscles. And really work on that long, slow, deep release. You can leave your arms relaxed down the side of your body. Or you can place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, just paying attention to the breath as you stay in stillness. And the kidney, they say, is where we store our Jing, our essence. It's like the, the bank account of our energy, of our lifespan. And so there are certain things that we can do throughout our life to maintain that energy, that life force. So we want to do things that maintain the energy or increase and expand our energy. And there are certain things in life that we can choose that actually deplete our energy, our essence, our life force. And I think that's things that we're all aware of that can take our energy away, things like toxins, drinking, smoking, eating unhealthy foods, preservatives, junk foods, foods that take our energy away, we can feel that. And so with practices like yin yoga, with meditation, mindfulness, yoga we get more in touch with our body we start to understand and take the time to listen to the body's communication and then when we can start to nourish ourselves with the things that increase our vitality the right foods the right choices in experiences, relationships, jobs, homes, family. Our entire environment. So really scan through your body, your your inner landscape. What is happening for you and what do you need today? Is it more stillness? more nourishment, self-love, balance, support. Really bring that awareness in. Give yourself the time and space that you need. That you deserve.
Maybe a little check-in point here. If you feel your body has opened or you've come to the next edge and you feel like your legs, legs could drop down just that little bit more. Maybe you want to go to slightly deeper. Or maybe you're happy exactly where you are. Return to the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Now let's very ever so gently assist your legs, start to walk them in little by little. Take as much time as you need to just bring your legs together straight up against the wall. We were there for a little while, so again, observe the feeling, the sensation, and watch it as it passes by. And we're going to come into a little twist here. So just bending into the knees and twisting your legs over to the right. Both knees. Maybe you need to adjust yourself from the wall a little bit. Move out. And maybe the knees don't touch down to the ground. That's okay. Just be here for a few breaths. You can gaze over your left shoulder. Just a nice little release for the spine. So this perfect little practice here is beautiful to do right before bed. Let go any of that held tension from the day. Or even to begin your day, they say it's really great to practice yin cold. So straight out of bed 
without any movement, straight into these deep stretches is really good for the tissues, the fascia. So any time of day. Let's slowly come over to the other side. Both knees over to the left. You can use your hand for support. Take a little gaze over that right shoulder. And take some of those nice breaths to sweep them up through the spine. You might feel this through the hip joint as well. So really remembering to take this practice throughout your day, your evening. Really paying attention to your body, scanning your body, your environment, your inner landscape. And choosing things that will nourish your body, your mind, your spirit that will increase your jing, your essence, your vitality. And moving away from the things that do not. And realizing that everything that we do in life is by choice. Let's slowly move out, just placing the legs straight up the wall again. Taking a little shavasana here, final few minutes to allow the body to relax and receive. Or maybe you want to slide out and lay on down. Or any final movements that you need. Thank you all for practicing with me. Namaste and have a wonderful day. See you again soon on the mat.